Metzger, and I am the co-writer and co-director of Immortal. My name is Laura Coover, and I play Anna in Immortal. So Immortal, actually, we, uh, my, my co-writer, Bavalera, and I, we, we kind of did things backwards. We actually wrote the feature script first, and then we adapted the feature script into a short. It was an idea that we had been fascinated by for years, just the idea of life extension in general, the um, scientific research and, and, and um, attempt at curing aging. It was all really, really fascinating to us. And so we've been kind of like following some different people that were doing research within the field and, um, and just the different scientific updates that were happening. And we decided that we wanted to do a project about it. And uh, that combined with our, uh, both of our personal struggle with work-life balance. I think all filmmakers <laughs> struggle with that and many people struggle with it in general. Yep, exactly. Um, and so, yeah, it was just like one of those things of, you know, what if you were trying to cure death? You know, at what point does, does the work take a priority over life and like, and does, the attempt to save life actually cause you to like lose your own. And so it was just this kind of interesting um, idea that we had. And so we wrote a feature script um, and, and, you know, it like started to get awards and stuff. And so we're like, Oh, like, like this is something that we can actually like make. And as we were starting to think about how to make the feature, we decided that we wanted to just test out the concept, test out some of the characters. And so we actually wrote, it's, it's a completely different storyline than the feature script, different setting, different genre even. Um, but we decided that we would just test out the characters in, in this kind of more contained short story and then, um, and then go from there. We've, we've been rewriting and rewriting and um, we feel like we're in a really good place. And so um, Vanishing Angle is attached to produce the project and um yeah we're starting to take it out like starting like next week so um yeah we're, we're excited well i'll first say that it was such a a treat to get the script and to read the character description um unfortunately most character descriptions that i read for female characters are a hair color <laughs> and an age range and then some somehow in relation to the male character like so-and-so's wife so-and-so's lover um, so just off the bat the fact that she was a character in her own right there was no mention of hair color at all <laughs> um, but just it was her story I was just really excited about um, and uh, the thing that that really jumped out at me when I read the script was just the um, the obsession and how how steeped in her obsession Anna is so much so that she's uh, sort of self alienated and there's this detachment from herself and the rest of the world that um, she struggles to relate to her own wife and I thought that was really uh, powerful was, there was something about it that I really felt a, just a personal connection to in that that um, disconnect and that struggle. And, and being put in a position to choose between uh, two things that you that you love. To, to encapsulate Anna, she's someone who um, has a deep uh, faith in herself and a belief in what she's doing. Um, and then watching sort of like the, the price that she pays for that uh, is sort of like her her journey. And then reading the script, I know I knew right away that there was such like a depth and a breadth to these characters because it's a feature and there's already this whole other vast world around it that you really get that in the short and in the story and in, in Anna. We had kind of two unusual things um, with, with the shoot. One of them was uh, all of the mice. So, you know, we have these like mice that are essentially extras in our, in our film. And so figuring out how to get them, how to take care of them, also how to get them to act, you know? We, uh, you know, we like wanted them to be very active in the background during these like longer takes. And so it's like figuring out like, okay, you know, do we like feed them, you know, to get them, you know, like moving around, what's gonna get them like burrowing. And so uh, that was just like a really fun, um, fun job. And also just like, you know, a lot of the PAs were just like, these are so cute. They were obsessing over them. And then uh, the, so the algae that Anna is working with was also like another element that 
was just so important for Bob and I to be really visual, really um, unique and strange looking. Um, and we had originally pictured it as this thing that was almost like crawling up a wall, like 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 a vine that was slowly taking over the space. Um, um, but you know, of course, we only had a day and a half, and we were shooting in this beautiful historic home in Pasadena um, that we only had for like for for the weekend, and so. The production designer was like, I, I can't like ruin these walls by like having this thing crawling up. And so she actually had this amazing suggestion of what if it's kind of this hybrid lily pad with these like kelp algae strips like <laughs> hanging from it. And I was like, that sounds amazing. Like, sure, like show me what it looks like. And so, um, yeah, so uh, once she kind of had that idea, she brought in someone to design this kind of prototype and we saw it and we loved the way that it moved through the water and just like the way that we were able to light it through the water just um, allowed us to do some really cool things visually. And so uh, that's how the algae formed. Say, there was so much thought and specificity that was put into the art direction and the props and everything, all the algae and all the, the science uh, equipment and all of that. Um, I felt like a, a little kid playing scientist. It just was so fun to like come into the set and it was all just like this whole world that made it so real. Um, it was challenging because interacting with some of that equipment and the precision that is needed to do all of those, you know, the, the things that I do, um, it needed to feel like I do it every single day and I do it a lot and it's something that's like in my bones, but I'm not that. So I was just like trying to, how do I make it look like I do this every day and I learn very quickly how to aim and uh, like unlock this and push this button and um, it was fun, but it was also challenging. November 12th at 7.30 p.m. We're in the Dust Altar Presents um, the Best Sci-Fi and Fantasy Block. My Instagram is um, at Natalie Metzger and my Twitter is at Metzart, M-E-T-Z-A-R-T. And we've been using um, just hashtag immortal and hashtag vanishing angle um, as, uh, associated with, with the project. And I am, uh, this is a, a, a college nickname uh, Kuvtronics. Uh, my last name is Coover, so my Instagram is at Kuvtronics, <laughs> and then Facebook is just Laura Coover. It's tough because I, you know, I feel like we specifically, Bob and I, like, we didn't want to, like, end the film with the specific message or specific commentary about Anna's choices. We didn't want it to be her choices to be villainized or or glorified. It's really such a complicated subject that we wanted to like open the dialogue about it. And what's been really interesting about screening this at different festivals is that the audience gets really, really polarized about it. So some people are like, yes, Anna was right. She should have been doing that. Like she's justified. And then some people are like, no, are you kidding me? Like, you know, her wife is totally justified. And, and so it's been really interesting seeing different people's reactions. And um, the same thing has been happening with like the feature script. And so we're really proud of that because, um, you know, we, we wanted Anna to be a complicated character. We wanted her wife Harper to be a complicated character. And so um, we feel like we achieved that because there isn't this like, specific message or or specific um um i guess judgment around the character it can kind of be taken either way if i if i wanted people to leave with something it would be um an excitement about the science i want them to go look up life extension and like learn all of the exciting cool real science that this is based on because it's fascinating um and then i want them to go and uh see the feature film Amazing. I mean, we, we've been, you know, kind of working with them for the past couple of years, um, you know, both as like production company through, through Vanishing Angle and as producers. Um, the, uh, a short film that we helped out with, um, the Thunder Road short, um, won an award at, at Holly Shorts back in 2016. And so um, we've always had such a good relationship with the festival and they have been so communicative and so helpful and also like really creative during this time. You know, COVID is a really, really tough thing for film festivals, which are all about bringing people together in a physical space. And, um, you know, Holly Shorts has done like some really, really fun things like 
and they did this like virtual red carpet. And so they created these like fun filters and had, you know, all the filmmakers get dressed up and take photos and they're going to like release them at some point. And, um, you know, things like that, that help make it feel special, um, you know, in a, in a way that the physical festival always feels. And so, um, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure and they've been, you know, so, so great um, and inspired during this time. Mm -hmm.